Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. This is MP Slotcar Space. I'm Massimo, and tonight, well, tonight, I'm glad you asked. We have another slot car review, and it's a first for myself and the channel. It's my first slotted car. Very excited to get this open. Yes, exciting stuff. So, enough of me talking. Let's get into it. So what exactly did I get here? Well, before we get into it, I wanna mention that this is gonna be a two part video. Part one will be opening up the slot car and taking a good look at it. Part two is gonna be, well, as you know, this channel mainly focuses on Carrera and Carrera Digital. This is an analog car. To get it to run on my digital setup, I'm gonna have to chip it. So part two of this video is gonna be chipping this car to run on my digital system. And I ended up getting a chip and it is a Slot Technic digital decoder. It's a little bit more of a pricey option, but it should be pretty foolproof. And I need all the help I can get when it comes to soldering because as I mentioned in a previous video, I'm sure I am not a solderer at all, but I am getting better. So it should be fun. Without further ado, this is the car I got. And it is a Alfa Romeo 155 V6 DTM car. 1994 with the brilliant Jägermeister livery. So let's take a better look at the box and unbox it. So as I already mentioned, this is my first slotted car and I'm very excited for it. I do own two uh, Policar Monoposto, the F1s, but this is my first actual slotted car. And it is, like I mentioned, the Alfa Romeo 155 V6 Ti DTM. So, Let's take a quick look at the box and then open her up. It's a nice orange box here to go with the orange livery. Let's slot it here, typical box. Let's pop this out of its sleeve. And whoa, look what we have going on in here. Some carbon fiber detailing. Very nice touch, has the uh, slotted website back there. And here's the car itself. Let's get it out of its case. Has this nice shield here to protect the car in transit, like that. Nice touch. And let's pop this off the base. Whoa, look at that. Got some parts. This is like the equivalent of finding, uh, when you go to McDonald's, find the fries at the bottom of the bag. It's just a nice added bonus. So here it is. Look at that paint job. I'm not sure if it's coming up on camera, but here it looks amazing. That beautiful finish. Has some nice detailing. Has a, you can see the tow hook over here. The rims are nicely detailed. Obviously the body. Has the quad exhaust, and they're kind of pointing upwards. That's that's pretty neat. Tow hooks in the back. Kind of like a mesh-looking grill here where the tow hooks are. The interior is very detailed, I have to say. It's a row cage there, it has like an aluminum finish in there. It has like a plaque on the steering wheel that you wouldn't typically see in DTM cars. That's a nice touch. It has like, I guess it's like a computer board? What would that be? Magneti Morelli, yeah. Some kind of a computer. The shifter. This driver is very detailed, I have to say. Look at that, it's like down to the, what is that, the knees that there's a, a modeling. That's, that's cool. Very cool, nicely detailed. And the Jägermeister livery, beautiful. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this livery here. If you like the Jägermeister livery, if you're for it, against it. All right, so being my first slotted, let's open it up and see what's under the hood. Where'd you go? What are you doing over there? All right, welcome back. So to get this, body removed from the chassis. There's two screws holding it in. One at the back here and one under the guide here. So let's get these out. And there you go. Body is off. So there's a lot less going on in here obviously compared to the uh, Carrera Digitals. There's no digital chip in here just yet. And there's no uh, wiring for headlights or taillights because this car does not have them. 
The chassis itself is very flexible. And here's the pinion and the gear. They're very bling bling, shiny, shiny. Nice aluminum rims here. Nice, nice. Tires are nice, I gotta say. They feel like to be very grippy, but time will tell. Yeah, it's a nice chassis. Very, um, very flexible, so it should be able to take a thrashing if it comes down to it. Nice. Very excited for this to see how it fares on my track and what kind of lap times I could do. It's very light, so I feel like it's gonna be very quick. It does have a magnet back here, a single magnet. It has room for a second up here. I'll keep it with the single for now and then I'll take it out and do like I did in my last video and try it both ways and see what kind of lap times we could get with it. So let's throw the body back on. And uh, let's look at the bag fries here, see what we got. So it looks like it's just some spare washers and mounts and also two unpainted rim caps here. Cool. It's cool that they added this. Anything else in this bag here? Oh, there is. This is the Allen key, I guess, for the adjustments. Back here. Yeah, you can remove these, adjust those. Cool. And yeah, let's get the body back on. So my final thoughts on this car. Well, the paint job itself is brilliant. Like I said, this orange just pops. I'm not sure if it's coming up on camera, but you just gotta take my word for it. Just a very nice orange. And the Jägermeister livery, it's the first Jägermeister car I have. I have an RC, Jägermeister, uh, Jager, Jägermeister. And yeah, just, I really like the livery. The detailing on the car, it's uh, very incredible. Everything about it, it's just top notch, well done, slotted. Everything about it. Antenna here, it's like a rubbery material, so it won't break off. Everything, it's just very well done, nicely put together. And I can't get over how light it is. I'm not used to this, guys, so for me, this is new territory. Yeah, so. Brilliant looking car, excited for it. I just did my outro and I wasn't recording. So I'm gonna do it again now, one sec. So that's just about gonna wrap it up for tonight. I hope you enjoyed this quick unboxing and review on this gorgeous Jägermeister livery Alfa Romeo from Slot It. I'm very excited for this car, very excited to chip it and get it on my track. I'm hopefully gonna chip it by, let's say, Monday and I'll get a video out sometime after the weekend I'll try to getting it chipped and put a video out there show you how I do it And we'll put it on the track put it through its paces and see what it can do So if you enjoyed this video hit that thumbs up If you like this livery, let me know in the comments below if you have any tips on slotted Let me know below as well. This is all new for me uncharted territory very excited so I'm gonna end the video with a quick cinematic photo shoot, like I always do, of this car on my track. Unfortunately, not running yet, but I'll try to get some nice shots of it for you guys. So again, thanks for joining me. This is MP Slot Car Space. I'm still Massimo, and I'll catch you very, very soon. Ciao.
you still doing here? It's done. Go. Go check out that slot car guy or Boone slot car garage or Friday slot car news. This video's over. Later.